Shall your brothers go to war and you sit your behind here? That's what Moses is saying. You got to correlate that with many of us today. You got some brothers in the war, in this fight, and other brothers just sitting back. He's even brought his prophets out here to try to get you to understand to start doing his laws, statutes, and commands. Who are they? Who are they? So this war was given to them all because of what we didn't do. Social injustice, economic justice. Right we don't care about pleasing the most high God. Right. We hate God. That's the final issue. What about if you have to work, right? Now you understand, uh, first of all, the Israelites are holy people. You gotta get back to that. They are holy people. Get, get that. Uh, once again, Deuteronomy 7 6. The first thing he, he chose the people, right? Seven six, and then you gotta understand what can you do, and how can you do it. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter seven, verse six: For thou art the holy people unto the Lord thy God. To the Lord thy God, right? Because He chose. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people unto Himself above all that are upon the face of the earth. Above everybody, go get that uh, Isaiah 40, uh, 15. All right, get, let's, get, let's put, that in, put that in your head. Now, the Bible saying this, God saying that it's not us. You go to the church, the pastor ain't gonna be talking like this. You know what I'm saying? Read the book of Isaiah, chapter 40, verse 15. Behold, the nations are as a drop of a bucket and are counted as the small dust of the balance. Behold, he taketh up the owls as a very little thing. Go to 17. All nations before him are as nothing. All nations. So he chose these people, the Israelites. What do you what do you think about the other people? He said, you know, the other people. I don't care about the other people. They say it's like a buck of water. Like you got a full cup of coffee right there, right? That you know what you're gonna be drinking right now. You should throw it away. Show them that. Show show the Most High God. Hey, I messed up. I didn't know. Look. All praises, bro. Right? You got a you, you got a full cup to the brim, but you spilled a little, right? You're not gonna trip. Like, oh, you know, I still got some. That's what he thinks about the other nations. Hey, right. uh, I still got my people. What are you talking about? You understand? Okay, now give me Deuteronomy 28.15. Bring it up! Now, once again, this Bible is only speaking to the Israelites. It's by and for and to the Israelites. Right! Bring it up! And we can prove it. Three. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Right there, so all these curses. Now, uh, let's see who is he talking about. This is Moses, now go to uh, Deuteronomy 27. Uh, just stay on the same, but 27 and 9. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 27 verse 9. And Moses and the priests, the Levites, spake unto all Israel. Who? Wait, wait, who? All Israel hey, say, say what? saying what? Saying, take heed and mark it, O Israel. Right there, right there. Listen. And he just told them, if you don't do this, these things are gonna happen. Go to uh give me Amos 1 and 3. Bring it up, bring it up. Amos 3 and 1. I'm gonna show it, I'm gonna prove it to you. And then you're gonna know what you can do on the Sabbath days. That's the thing. Go ahead. The book of Amos, chapter 3, verse 1. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel. Again, Israelites, speaking to the Israelites. Against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You 
only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. Nah, he's gonna punish us if we don't listen. He said, what about the other people? They don't care if you did, if you did it. You understand that? Hey, sis, excuse me, ma'am, sis. How you doing? What's your nationality? Do you see yourself here? Yeah. What, what, where are you at? You don't know, well keep looking, there's a flyer in it. So anyway, so now you know that the Bible is for Israelite and you are Israelite, all right? I'm from El Salvador. I can break it down, but we're gonna go back to the side. But give me, uh, what is that, Daniel? Because uh, yeah. guess what? It's all these curses are gonna happen to you, right? Now guess what? The Israelites, if you read this Bible, it's a history. And it tells you, guess what, the Israelites messed up plenty of times, over and over, and they got punished. They went into slavery for maybe 10 years, they did it again, 40 years, another year, 100 years, another, they just keep building up. This is the most, uh, we're destroyed, we don't know who we are. So the book of Daniels, he was a, um, he was a captive, all right, from the tribe of uh, Judah, that's what he was from, and he was a famous man from his lineage, all right, he was a prince. So they, they didn't put him, they put him in the castle with the king, right? And they wanted them to eat certain things, like the swine you're not supposed to eat. Read. The book of Daniel, chapter 1, verse 11. Then Daniel said to Mizar, whom the prince of the eunuchs has set over Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah, prove thy servants I beseech thee ten days, and let them give us pork to eat. Stop, stop, stop. So now he's just talking about food. He said he didn't want to eat the meat. So he spoke. He said, look, I don't want to eat this. So what you can do is talk to your, uh, your employer, right? And you tell your employer, look, uh, I want to keep the Sabbath. I'm no, I'm not longer able to work on the Sabbath, right? Now if you have to work, like if you have no other job, well obviously you're in captivity, right? Give me that. Deuteronomy uh, uh, 28 and 48. Is it 40? Yeah, 48. All right? That's what you gotta do. Cause that's what Daniel did. You use that wisdom. You got a job, right? And you work on Sabbaths, uh, Saturdays and Sundays. Okay. Okay. You're not supposed to. Tell me, are you happy? Uh, you're on your way. You got off. Not working. Right, well, anyway, don't do it. All right? A lot of people get greedy. Want that overtime? Three. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 48. Therefore, shalt thou serve thy enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger and in thirst. Thirst, you gotta buy it. You just bought that coffee on the Sabbath, Rick. And in nakedness. You gotta buy clothes from who? Who owns all these things, Rick? And in the what of all things. Hey, bro, everything. Hey, guess what? That rent you pay, who's it going to? It's going to one nationality. It ain't going to the Israelite, I tell you that. Everything you, you were wearing, everything. Check it out. It says made from Guat Guatemala. Who's profiting off of that thing, though? Bring it up. Isn't that a curse? It's all these curses is gonna party. Give me that proverb. Give me that. Give me that proverb. This is the thing. Now, uh, the officer just said, "Isn't the uh, so-called Mexicans hard workers?" Right, the hard workers, right? Now, you don't see you don't see no Mexican standing out there with the sign like, hey, I, I need a dollar, hook me up, I'm a veteran, blah, blah, blah. No, you can catch them at Home Depot at Lowe's right now. That's right. Standing on the corner doing what? Looking for work. Hey, they'll bust their back out. Out there right. in a little apartment with 12 men in there. In a pickup truck. Three. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 37. And thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword. It's talking about the Israelites now. Now, if you understand the my friend of people, if you drive by Home Depot, everybody knows, like, hey, Mexicans there, give them 25 bucks. Cheap labor. That's a, that's a proverb. That's a five word. It's like, yeah, that's them right there. Or, or, or they say Asian people. Asian people can't uh, drive and they're smart. In math or something like that. You understand? Bring it up! That's a proverb. That's what he's saying. Three. Among all nations, whither the Lord shall lead thee. Right there. Lead thee. It's giving you a hint that all the, that we're gonna be in captivity. Because we're not even from here. This is not our land. Bring it up! 
wherever you go, ain't gonna be, you ain't gonna hide. That's him right there. Yep. Oh, yep. That's him. And I just give him. No, don't give him the full, the full wage. Give him half of that. And no breaks. You understand that? Now check this out. Give me Psalms 49 and 11. Hey, bro. Bring it out. Now, your last name, right? Your last name. Do you know the origin of your last name? Our last name, toda la gente de Latino. Do you know where they come from? The last name. From Spain, right? So why do we have so much... Um, how about this? How about if I tell you that the Bible says that too? The Bible says it. Bring it up! The book of Psalms, chapter 49, verse 11. Their inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever and their dwelling places to all generations. They call their lands after their own names. I'll break it down. So he's talking about another nationality. They think they're uh, big-headed, right? And their names are going to last forever. The house is talking about the generation. This is the house of my kids. My kids have kids. That's their kids. Basically, that's what they're saying. They're going to say their name is going to last forever because they're going to name the lands. Who named the lands? Who named these lands right here? No, that's good. Read, read, read it again. Read it again. And just look at it. Bring it out. The book of Psalms, chapter 49, verse 11. Their inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever and their dwelling places to all generations. They call their lands after their own names. They call the lands after their own name. America. Africa. That's the last, that's a person's name right there if you knew. Do a research. Research these things that we're talking about you. Prove all things, right? You can prove it. Everybody got Google, YouTube, there's a library. Read. Look it up. Do some research. Now one thing. Hey, hey, focus on me, man. Focus. You don't know the scripture. Why are you gonna listen to her? I'm talking to my brother right now. Now listen. Cortez. You know who Cortez is, right? Right? When Cortez took over Mexico, you know what he did? He gave the land to his top generals, top soldiers, and to the preachers. So when they got the land, what did the preachers, the soldiers, and the generals do when they got that land? What they do? Like El Salvador. You know who named El Salvador? Pedro, Pedro Alvarez. If you go to the Bahamas, there's an island named San Salvador. San Salvador. Who named that? Christopher Columbus. Did. This is historical facts. <laughs> Mexico was never Mexico. They, they say that because they call it like Mexica or something like that. But that's nonsense. Before, because before the, the Aztecs, there was another tribe of Issachar. Well, the same Issachar, but they were, they were called different. Aztecs just took over. Who knows? We gotta do our own. You gotta learn about our people, man. Now, one thing I want to tell you is uh, Matthew, uh, yeah, fifteen twenty-four. Fifteen twenty-four. Now, let's let's talk about Christ. Who did Christ come for? Who did he come for? Because if you go down the street, there's a man with a sign that says Jesus loves everybody. Is, is that what the Bible says? Let's read out the Bible. People are scared to hear the truth, though. That's us. Oh, oh, are they scared? Read. The book of Matthew, chapter 15, verse 24. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Right. There was a lady saying, who do you come here for? You coming for me? He said, no. He said, what? The lost sheep of Israel. He told her, he, he said, no. He came for us, you know? Bring it out. Now it's time to repent. Now give me that, um, Deuteronomy, uh, uh, Leviticus 22 and 5. Give me that. Because there's things that we got to do, all right? And I see that you threw the cup. Hey, man, that's repentance. That's a step. And guess what? The most high sees these things. Bring it out. Bring it out. The like book of Leviticus, chapter 22, like verse 5. Or whosoever. The book of Leviticus, chapter 21, verse 5. They shall not make baldness upon their head, neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard, nor make any cuttings in the flesh. Not supposed to be bald headed. Not to shave off your beard, no tattoos. Now, if you got them, you didn't know, right? All you gotta do is like, hey, I'm not gonna get it no more. I'm not gonna do that thing. You used to be bald headed, grow your hair out. I see you got a beard, you're not shaving, right? 
Let it go. Let it grow. That that's a, a commandment. That is a law. That's a, you understand that. Now go ahead and give me uh, Le, uh, Leviticus eleven and seven. Bring it up. These are little things. The Most High God gave us these things. They're not that hard. Hey, don't buy cook and work on on the Sabbath, right? Don't shave. Don't tattoo. Read the book of Leviticus chapter eleven verse seven. And the swine, though he divide the hook and be clothed for it, yet he chew it not to cut. He is unclean to you. Uh, of their flesh shall ye not eat. You're not supposed to eat it. Now I know you've been reading the Quran, right? The Quran says not to eat it, right? Where did they get that from? And who's the Bible for? They bum it off. Just like the, how many Bibles do you see out there? Different by different translation. You got so many nationalities worshiping uh, the same God, but they don't even know God because the God ain't for them. And that's a hard truth. And you should be proud of yourself right now. All right? You're an Issachar. Israelites. And these are your brothers right here. We're Israel united in Christ. You got that fire, right? There's too much to go over, you know? But you at least took one step. You're proving yourself. That's right. You got that flyer. Go to the website. We got free classes. All you need is a Bible, pen and paper, and you'll learn. What's that? We'll drop up. Give me that Daniel. What is that? Seven twenty-five. Four seventeen. Four seventeen. Here we go. Hey, you want to go on the Trump? All right. Let's see what what God thinks about Trump. Three. The Book of Daniel, chapter four, verse seventeen. This matter is by the decree of the watchers and the demand by the word of the holy ones to the intent that the living may know that the most high ruleth in the kingdom of men and give it into whomever he will and set it up over it the basis of men. Read that one more time when they say that the most high no! that the most high ruleth in the kingdom of men. What men? That means Earth, everywhere, free, and give it to whomsoever he will, and set it up over it the basis of men. Trump is in power because most high put him there. That's right. We're in captivity still. He's not gonna put somebody night. Why would he do that? We messed up. He just bought a cup of coffee, throwing up. Hey, at least the most high be like, hey man, he's getting this stuff together. These guys are coming together. They're doing it, right? Get that. That's a good one. Uh, give me that. Revelations 13 and uh, 10, all right? Because, hey, this is about to be very deep, all right? Three. The book of Revelations, chapter 13, verse 10. Uh, he that leadeth into captivity. Wait, wait what is it? Uh, Three. He that leadeth into captivity uh, shall go into captivity. Hey, they did this to us. Right? And the only time we're going to be on top again is the scriptures the Bible said God said we're going to be back on top again. But right now you know who's winning. Right? All you got to do is keep the commandments. We win. This is how we win. You don't have to march. None of that. You got that flyer, brother. Go keep that. We're Israel united in Christ. We do this. We're in every single state. And once you start learning this, you tell your family. Tell your cousin Cortez that he's an Israelite from the tribe of Issachar. You follow me? Right. Go ahead. Give me uh, uh, Isaiah 3 and 1. Isaiah, yeah, Isaiah 1 and 3. Bring it up! Give me Isaiah 1 and 3. Because now, now you know this. You're getting some type of knowledge. You're getting a little bit. There's a lot to learn. We got, still got a lot to learn. Read. The book of Isaiah, chapter 1, verse 3. The ox knoweth his owner, and the, and the ass is master's crib. Ox and the ass are animals, right? You can train them, you can teach them, they don't know who you are. They won't hurt you. Hey, he's the man that feeds me, take care. Yes, I work for him, right? Three. But Israel do not know. My people do it not consider. They don't consider. Some people, we tell them they're Israelites, and they walk past. This is the greatest thing going right. This is the best thing right now. That's right. On earth. And they know these 12 tribes are the Israelites. And what do people do? Just walk by. They don't take a flyer. Hey, but you should look at yourself like, look, I'm standing here. I'm listening. I understand. You can get this. This is for you, bro. 
Right. So now you got to tell your family. Hey, he's from Cuba. Eres de Cuba. Si. Vaya, ve, ve, señor, rápido. Si, I will. No, I will have to get that. This. this. You're looking at that. You want to know. If yes. you're not Cuban, that's not a nationality. All right? Good. Keep well, that you know, I was born in Cuba. Hey, I was, I understand what you're saying. But if, uh, let's say, uh, the origins, where does the Cuba come from? I don't know. That's what I want to know. But they won't call Cuba. Yeah. That's what they say over here. That's what I want to know. Right. Uh, right. I think it's, uh, uh, man uh, man no. Manessa, right. Now, Manessa. Have you ever read the Bible? Yeah, I did. So you already know where Manessa comes from? Yeah. From? Manasses. Manasses. Pero tenía otro hermano también. Ifri. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, otra, otra pregunta. Señor, ¿cómo los, los, los cubanos, los puertorriqueños, los dominicanos, ¿cómo llegaron a esas islas? I know. No, 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 no sabes, ¿eh? That's your one and all. All right. This is one and all. I'm going to keep going. Keep going? Yeah, keep going. Okay, give me a uh, uh, second edge. Give me a... Uh, Where is it? Yeah, I'm looking for a pin. I, I want to write this down. That's okay. Yeah. No, that, that, that is all I know. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, thank you. I need you. Because one thing that I love it. I love it. Yeah, una cosa, la, la Biblia explica todo. Cómo la gente llegaron en esa parte del mundo también. Cómo llegaron ahí. Porque sabe que la gente blanco dice que nosotros caminado. Ven, señor. Yo soy de Salvador. Ven. Escúchame. Ok. Porque la gente blanco dice que nosotros caminado. Caminado en el mundo de ruso a Alaska. En el hielo. Caminamos. Así, con los indios. Dices que no, pero tú tienes niños de mal la escuela. Van a decir la misma cosa que, hey, tú caminaste en el hielo con los indios. Así ya llegamos aquí. Quédate aquí, señor. Otra cosa. ¿Eres de dónde? Honduras. ¡Acción! ¡Acción! Una pregunta, señor. ¿Quién ponió ese nombre en Honduras? En, ese, en esa tierra. ¿Y quién era él? ¿Ah? ¿Por qué nación? Ven, señor, por no puedo oírte. No te tienes miedo, señor. Dame dos minutos de va yo te dejo. Ahorita voy a terminar. ¿Quién ponió ese nombre en esa tierra? Que ahorita estás llamándote un hombre, oíste, un hombre ponió ese nombre en esa tierra. Ahora esa gente está llamándose de Honduras. Son guatemaltecas, son salvadoreños, pero esos nombres vienen de otra nación, de la gente de España, de la gente de España, que son, son blancos, señor. Por eso, ¿por qué yo soy muy blanco? Mi jefe y mi mamá son de Salvador. ¿Me entiendes? Toda la cosa que está pasando está en la Biblia, ¿me entiendes? Tu apaído viene de otra nación. La lengua español viene de otro. ¿Me entiendes? Give me uh, Deuteronomy uh, 32, 33. ¡Bring it up! The book of Deuteronomy! Capiche! 33! No, 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 I want 32! The beach it up! 32! Versículo 36! Dije que cariados, yo del mundo, haría cesar de Andrés, los hombres, la memoria de ellos. Si, si no, si me hace la ira del enemigo, no sé qué es. Sus adversarios. En la Biblia ahorita te dice que en el futuro que la Israel no van a saber quién ellos son. Los nombres de ellos van a acabar. Por eso tu nombre viene de otra raza. Cubano viene de otra raza. Esta gente ponieron ese nombre. Y nosotros no sabemos. Como este moreno aquí, mi amigo, mi hermano, el apellido no viene de él. La lengua inglés. Nunca hablaron inglés. Que no la traían aquí con barcos, señor. Sí, estos es de los morenos, en estos que pasaron a los latinos. Estas cosas sí pasaron. ¿Me entiendes? 
lo más la, la más uh, 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 la most triste cosa que pasaron en el mundo es de los pueblos de los latinos de los morenos de los indios yep. más de todo en yep. el mundo yep. y por qué y por qué señor porque Dios está enojado con nosotros Oh, pues sí, porque él dice, mira, hey, hey, sí, yo aquí, sí, yo te pegué, pero mira, esto te pone bien, yo te pone, te pongo a, arriba de todas las naciones. Give me that again, give me a, a Deuteronomy 28 and 36, a problem. The book of Deuteronomy. Espérame, señor, antes que van a escribir, lee, a mí, o escucha. Capítulo 28, artículo. Ahí está, él dice que... Ok. Vaya pues, otra cosa, otra. Hay mandamientos, hay reglas en este libro que hacer, ¿ah? ¿eh? Pues tú sabes cómo matar, ¿ah? ¿eh? Ok, hay cosas chiquitas como no matar, tú sabes eso, ¿ah? ¿eh? Pero hay más cosas que nosotros de los que necesitamos hacer. ¿Cómo que? ¿Cómo que? Este señor va a leer una parte. Me gusta. Léelo. This is the book of First Corinthians, capítulo 11. Versículo 4. Más quiero que sepáis que Cristo es la cabeza de todo el varón y el varón es la cabeza de la mujer y Dios la cabeza de Cristo es un orden Dios, Cristo, oh, Dios. el hombre, el mujer y los niños ¿me entiendes? porque la mujer va a tener cuidado a los niños que no vaya, léelo todo el varón que ahora oh, prometida cubierta la cabeza espérame, espérame ahí dice quién que qué está profeciando y está leyendo la Biblia que están profeciando léelo profetiza cubierta la cabeza afrenta su cabeza está ofendiendo a Dios cuando tú tienes tu cabeza con una cachucha o tienes algo en tu cara en tu cabeza, ¿qué tienes en tu cabeza ahorita, señor? Ahora no, una, una gorra. Yo, en yo, ahorita no, la... yo, yo no estoy profetizando. So no quieres arre... no quieres arrementar a Dios. No, no, a la... no, 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 no. I just got up and he Le... Vamos a ver qué Dios dice. Léelo. Todo varón que ahora o profetiza, cubierta la cabeza cubrieron la cabeza que tú tienes la cabeza cubrido en la palabra de Dios está saliendo ¿Qué, qué te pasa léelo afrenta su cabeza más claro mujer que ahora profetiza vas a ofender Dios eso es ofender me entiendes porque tú vas a una casa señor la quita de los zapatos me entiendes o me, miras algo y la ahora señor y la sacas tu gorra que no vamos a hacer eso Dios dice buena palabra, quita esa gorra, señor. No, ahorita estoy diciendo, quítate tu gorra, por favor. Solo para enseñar Dios, no solo para nosotros, es para ti. Ok, déjame seguir escribiendo, sigan ustedes. Yo voy a escribir, yo necesito knowledge. Pero va, vas a agarrar el knowledge y vas a escribir eso con tu cabeza todavía cubrida. Es ok, hey, es ok. Vaya. But I want to know this. I like it. Okay. I like it. Revelation 14. Shalom. I'm Elton Nathaniel. Israel United in Christ.
YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this Join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.